thank you for joining us in Toronto TV Feng Shui 101. I'm your host, Maggie Ng, and we have special guest, Feng Shui Master Paul Ng. Thank you, Maggie. Good to see you again. Master Paul Ng, in Feng Shui, people are always talking about direction of objects and the position they are placed either inside or outside. Does that mean we cannot move our furniture or our plants after the environment is feng shui? Uh, yes and no. On the yes part, yes, directions are very important. Okay, because different directions carry different forms of energy. But this kind of energy had to match with the people using it because each person also has their own elements carries their own energy, so you have to mess the two of them, like a marriage. Now, so, because of certain restrictions, not every piece of furniture can always face a certain direction. Maybe the restriction of the shape of the space, the size of the space. For example, when you do function in Hong Kong, chances are you can move anything because this, everything is rigid. There's, there's so much space you got, that's it. So, you use different function methods to harmonize it, to change the nature energy. So the second part is, yes, is you, uh, you uh, better leave it the way it is, or you can change it. And if you cannot either way, you can use other methods to change the energy, even with or without changing the furniture. So that's why the answer looks ambiguous. It's yes and no for the reason. Thank you, Master Polly. Thank you for watching Toronto TV Feng Shui 101. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye.